Hello everyone, it's Kay again and I'm here with more additions to my 100 Things channel sponsored by Hash DWP Dances with Pitbull's 100 Things Challenge and I'm delighted to say I've got three more little things to share with you today um, which makes 28, 29 and 30 28 are wooden frame embellishments 29 are lollipop embellishments and 30 is mixed media altered travel labels. You know the tags you put on your suitcases and so on. I don't know if people still do that now but anyway um, that is what I'm here to share with you. Now the mixed media it has been hugely inspired by Nina Rybina. Not having done a whole lot of um, textured things in the past because of background issues. I've never quite known how to go about it. I've been watching Nina who gives some absolutely fabulous tips and the lollipop embellishments when I get to those they the actual flower aspect of it was also inspired by Nina who's done a lovely tutorial on how to use up the flowers that I'm sure a lot of you may have in your stash. So without further ado, I'll put the book out of the way. These are my wooden tag embellishments. Now, what it amounts to, you know how when you get new lines come out like Floral Muse and, oh my gosh, there are just so many of them, but they tend to do a whole range of little embellishment type things that you can utilise if you use on um, layouts or whatever really you can utilise the frames. Well, I've never quite known what to do with them. So I got them out and thought, well, I'll just start by gluing them onto a piece of ordinary um, card. It's quite a good quality card. It's the 300 GSM because I think that just affords a little bit more stability to your project. I then went on because the um, frames were already this pink and white colour to put a little applique, well it actually it's um, cut up trim underneath the for you bit. I was gifted these little heart embellishments by um, Don's Delight, it was part of Winnings and then I happened across these little floral flowers in clear um, acrylic which I'd bought I don't know how many years ago to be honest maybe as many as five and it was the containers that you used to be able to get for about 2 99 with I don't know how many um, little embellishments in them all identical but I got it into my head that I could use them so I I have and they've come out quite nicely I then went on to apply uh, a jump ring which I'll show you from this side and then just four links of chain I got one of my old head pins out and created that little dangle as a finisher and I think they've come out I'll just close in a bit. I think the whole thing has come out really, really nicely. I wouldn't be adverse to pinning this on to a gift for someone or, you know, just generally end sending it off in a rack or something of that nature. So I actually went on to make four. The little heart rosette is the only thing really that changes within the have to excuse me Tilly's in here and I've brought her a new harness and it's one of these ones that jingle when she walks <laughs> and I don't know that she's quite come to terms with it yet but however it's it's a new day so she needed some new corsetry I'm going to say and it's a very fetching pink anyway this is the next one in the little ensemble and then the final one. So it's really 
totally identical uh, and it's just different placements but it makes a very nice little gift or as I say something that you can put in a rack so I was very pleased with how they came out and I hope you find them inspiring I'll move those out of the way the next thing I watched was Nina Ribena now I don't know how many of you remember the packs of flowers that you used to be able to get in the range and you get about 50 of them maybe even more I, I don't know exactly but Nina did a um, tutorial showing you how to alter them up a bit just using a little bit of gesso I've used some glitter I've put a preformed flower in the center lined it with one of my little silver colored cake cases just to add a bit of depth to the overall look of it and then on the back I've just added a couple of pieces of ribbon pink and beige so they're fairly neutral they'll go with most things cut out a little um, punch I think it was about two and a half no not two and a half smaller than that but anyway cut out the circle scalloped edge punch and then found um, a straw to make a little wand with unfortunately I only had black and as I'm not allowed to buy what I've done is wrapped around a very thin um, red tape the adhesive tape and then gone on to use this as my wand handle and I'm actually very pleased <laughs> The handle is a bit jarring, but, you know, needs must bear with me. But I thought they all came out really, really lovely. I chipped away at some of the flowers just to keep that layering going on and just pinched things up and then just cut around the shape of the flower. But they really have come out very, very nicely. I've also found some crochet bits that I made quite a long time ago and it's the three layer flower so for some of them I've actually utilized those because they've just been gathering dust and used then a little bit of bling in the center and it is really such an I uh, uh, such a, a dimensional piece and when you add the paint to it it just kind of adds a little bit of something and lifts it out of the ordinary so I just went on and made I made six of these in the end but they are all different purely by virtue of the coloured flowers that you use I also put on a little bit of glitter because I don't think that ever goes amiss but essentially the little bits of ribbon and the straw are all the same the it's the flower tributes that have come out differently that I think they're a bit too large to put on to a given project but to use in this wand capacity is is quite a nice idea so it would fit well with loaded envelopes or again little wrap gifts that you just feel you would like to add a little something extra to and just by virtue like I say of the paint a little bit of glitter cutting down the flowers so that you're sure to show off it, it amounts to three layers of flowers the little silver foil cupcake holder and then the stabiliser at the back just to hide the workings of the embellishment side of it but they really are so pretty and you know I'm pretty sure a lot of people will have these in their stash I'll link Nina Ribena's channel underneath this video and you'll see it in her not too distant past where she's taken them out of her stash, wondered what to do with them basically and then gone on to alter them like this and I just I'm so glad I had some in my stash that I could bring these to you. If you've seen Nina Ribena you'll know her work is absolutely exceptional and she is a bit of a um, um, artistic mixed media backgrounds and all that kind of thing all round her. She is such a lovely lady 
but there is another with the crocheted little flower something in the centre. But once you've actually put them all together, they really are very, very stable and I think really very, very attractive. So six of those, I'll go out in a minute and just let you see it all. And then the final thing I'm bringing you are the um, luggage altered luggage tags. Now, as I say, I've been watching Nina Ribena and I wanted to play. I've got Inca Gold and the Buffett stuff. This is the blue one and I've never, ever opened them. This is from the Pin Flare Company. Very, very nice, beautiful colours. And I used this blue and I used the traditional Inca Gold. Um, I think that was probably from another company. And I went on to make these mixed media. They're not great, but I'm very happy with how they've come out. And what I've done is run an all the label through the um, embossing machine. So you can see I've got a couple of different backgrounds here. And then I thought, oh, well, that's very pretty. I went on to use the Inca, Inca Gold, introduced a little bit of the blue just to, you know, marry up the colours that I wanted to finish with, backed them all on this lovely blue coloured card and then went on. I had um, a stencil with different birds on it just sitting on the boughs of trees and so on. So I went on then to add them to the Inca Gold and embellished tag. Found this sentiment, happy sunshine, hello sunshine. And I just thought, well, gosh, summer's here. Glorious colours, reminiscent of, you know, sunshine and blue skies and all that kind of lovely stuff. I thought, right, I'm just going to turn them into these little tags and I'm absolutely delighted for a first attempt with how they've come out. I did feel that my um, modelling paste was a little bit thick, but I started so I had to finish <laughs> in that technical way um, and it really does need a little bit of water just to dilute it a little bit and found myself going over the body of the birds with some paralysed paint just to give them a bit of life and to take away a little bit from the thickness of the modelling paste but I can address all of that at a later date. I then punched these little flowers out in the same colour card because this is where the little um, hole protector would have been and it made a bit of a mess peeling that off and then put the string that came with them originally and I think there was something like 50 tags in this little packet for a pound from the pound shop so rather than have them entirely blocking up the work so to speak I've hauled them out of my stash and made use of them for the 100 things challenge so I will love you and leave you thank you so much once again for sticking with me and seeing all my little makes come together and I've done 30 yay only another 70 to go and I'll say that very quickly Take care everyone, happy crafting again. Thank you so much for your continued support. It really is wonderful of you. Take care everyone, bye bye for now.